These preschoolers are learning about computer programming at a very early age. And what better way to introduce them to computer science concepts than through play with robots? Look at Bluebot's outfit today. He's a pirate. We're going to turn Bluebot on and we're going to turn on his tiles. Our robot Bluebot, who loves to dress up for whatever activities we're doing, um, is a pirate right now and he had a treasure map so we had to help him to navigate through his field to get from the starting point to where the X was and find the treasure. I think STEAM is an amazing tool for any teacher to have. It brings the children in because it's part of their world. It's all hands-on and things that they can do right in front of them and when the robot gets to their destination they're so excited. Computer science is for, for every student, it's not just for, for high school students, it's for everybody. Especially in our environment, we have students that, that use alternative devices to communicate. That's computer science, They're incorporating um, science into their communication models, into movement. If they have a chair that requires a, a computer program, there's lots of ways that computer science can fit in with every, every population of student in our, in, in our schools. Computer science blends right into what Ed and Laura already teach in their classroom. Computer science is really, it's more about foundational skills, learning that symbols have representation to something. So when we're learning to code our small robot, we're, we're learning that symbols mean movement or they mean an action. And then they're teaching Kibo what he can do by scanning those codes in, in sequence and we have a beginning sequence and an ending sequence so everything has to go between that green and that red when we give them opportunities to just play around with the cards and to learn that the barcode on the bottom of the card is actually the command and our robot won't do anything unless we actually scan that once they make that connection then then they recognize that they can make Kibo do something by giving him those commands. We can't just tell him what to do, we have to show him by letting him read the cards. I think computer science connects kind of to everything we do because it starts with the social emotional skills of having the ability to keep trying. Hmm. Uh oh of being able to attend to the activity because it takes a lot of focus to look at where something is and where you need it to get and make that plan without losing focus. I think it brings in some of the foundational pre-academic skills that we want to instill in them before kindergarten of sequencing, being able to retell a story, being able to let us know what's going to happen next. And it also brings in a lot of pre-math skills and pre-literacy. The tiles that we use, they have to go from left to right, just like we read. So I'm also trying to teach them that they go in a certain way so that they all look kind of uniform and it's easy to read as you're going so that we can look back at the pattern we've created and see whether it's going to get Yay! our blue bot to his destination. Yay! Friends, I'm very scared for Chi Chi. I think he's all alone and I think he's lost. So this was a cursory activity to our social emotional learning program. Um, we were working on finding solutions to problems. And so first we had our, our stating the problem with our words. So we had to discover where Chi Chi had gone and we once we discovered that then we had to problem solve and come up with solutions to that problem. So we were using our social emotional learning along with computer science so it was really a dovetailing of two curriculums. When I'm speaking about content knowledge I really want them to understand the term programming. I want them to understand that there's sequence to programming, that it's, it's a first, then, next, then, next, then, end. And I want them to see that there's a progression, it's patterns. So whether it's pre-literacy, whether it's mathematics, whether it's social emotional, whether it's computer science, engineering, arts, math, all of that really, we just want to start building those blocks from the very base. Right, the emerging computer science skills students are learning now will help them develop lifelong skills in the future. I think one of the most important things that they're getting from computer science and working with robots is trial and error. They're learning that it's okay to make a mistake 
and that nobody gets it right the first time every time. They're also not only learning about the programming of the robot, but they're learning to work as a team, to take turns, to sit back and listen to someone else's ideas. We want to give our students choice. We want to give them control of the environment. The more control they have over making their own choices, the more confident they'll become in making choices in the future. And if we can give them information, content, vocabulary, and knowledge of these concepts before they even go to kindergarten, they're going to be steps ahead of their peers and, and they're going to come out of this program feeling empowered and confident that they can do the things that they're being asked to do.